there has always been, and I suspect there always will be, a considerable amount of friction between people of faith and those who aren't, between those who believe in Jesus and those who don't. And there are two opposite and equally wrong approaches that Christians are adopting en masse to deal with it. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome again to Fresh. One is to remove friction altogether by capitulating, by simply going with the flow. The other is to shout back at those who oppose our faith, fighting fire with fire. Completely opposite, completely wrong. I saw a meme the other day of two guys looking at Jesus hanging on the cross. One says to the other, what was it that he said that got everyone so upset? The other guy answers, be kind to one another. To which the first one replies, oh yeah, that'll do it. And that was it, right? Love God, love one another, boom, crucifixion. So where did that kindness come into the equation amidst this faith friction that we're inevitably experiencing? Be wise in the way you act with those who are not believers. Use your time in the best way you can. When you talk, you should always be kind and wise. Then you'll be able to answer everyone in the way you should. Imagine if one country sends an ambassador to another country and all the ambassador does is hurl vitriol at this second country because he or she disagrees with what they're doing. Not very effective diplomacy, right? What God's calling us to here is ambassadorial wisdom. If you believe in Jesus, then you're an ambassador of Christ, so act like one, although they may still crucify you. That's God's word, fresh for you today. <music>